Alright man, so here's the bait man and it smells just like a sand flea, looks just like a sand flea and the shell's pretty damn hard so we're gonna drop it down and see if anything's interested. Alright, I'm gonna try dropping right here in this little like current break. There's got to be some fish just sitting right here trying to get away from all that fast moving water. And one of the keys, man, people ask me all the time, why are you fishing so light? Well, if you've ever done this type of fishing before, the lighter the jig that you can fish, the better. Because the hits sometimes are so hard to feel that if you're not fishing that real light stuff, you know, you, you're going to keep reeling in and saying, where the heck did my bait go? There we go. There we go. Feels like a tog first fish of the day. Could be wrong. Yep. Had that distinctive head shake. Not a bad start. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. There he goes. All right, no skunk. See if we could get something a little different. Got him. Oh no, 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 oh man, that is definitely not the desired species. There we go. First drop on the frozen sand flea. Look at that freaking jumbo perch, man. That's a stud perch right there. Look at that beautiful white perch. Well, that's a good sign, man. The uh, frozen sand fleas work. That was legit as soon as it hit bottom. So you don't think I'm lying to you, man. You can look, man. There's still some, you know, frost on these guys. They're not live. You know, they've been frozen for about two weeks and uh, you know, they they hold the same scent that a you know live sand flea has. That's what the whole key of that boiling process. If you're uh, unsure what I'm talking about, I'm gonna put a link up in the uh, up top for that video. Got him. Damn. Got him on the jig. Another jumbo white perch. Man, look at that freaking slob of a perch. Freaking beauty. See, man, those first two fish right there, if we were keeping them, that would have been enough for, you know, dinner for two. Got him. That was as soon as that hit bottom, man. Oh, no. Oh, that's why I knew it was too good to be true. Yikes. Man, these things are truly the worst. But I guess it's better than a skunk. Who knows? Ooh, got him. That felt like a perch. No, baby tog. Oh, man. Micro tog. That's weird, man, because that definitely felt like a perch uh, the way it hit. They very, they actually have a lot of similarities when it comes to how they feed. But let's get a fresh one on. Drop it back down. So that's three species on the day. That's not bad for, you know, we've been fishing maybe 10, 15 minutes. And with the wind conditions being what they are, you know, I'd take anything today. a hit oh ah. jumped the gun on that one but I still feel, feel like I beat 
Oh man. Dude, third time's gotta be the charm right here. Has to be. If I still got bait. Got him that time. Felt like a tog hit though. Yep, baby tog. Got him. Oh no. Not the desired species. Ugh. And he just spit the the frozen flea. Let's try another one. So many interference. All right, there we go. It is gonna sink a little bit slower with this less weight, but I think that might honestly be the ticket because I've literally just lost like five, six fish in a row. Oh, felt a bite, but could not hook him. Got him that time. Oh man, that's disappointing. Micro tog. All right, just drop that little micro jig down. Oh, got him. Oh no. Well. That is not what I was hoping it was going to be, but it's a new species for the for the year. Black sea bass, baby black sea bass, man. That's a freaking record breaker right there. Well, if that's what I, it's been robbing me, then I'm gonna be really disappointed. But 